good, good morning. It's a wonderful morning here on Tuesday, Tuesday morning. Man, these weird, this weird life that we live blows my mind. Really, we are obligated, I mean, we're obligated to nothing, really, at the end of the day. I don't have to do shit. I do whatever the fuck I want. There's consequences for your choices. But, we all have these, like, jobs that have meanings where you gotta travel to the office at X time. And, uh, I mean whole post-COVID thing, I just don't, I don't grasp it anymore. I mean, it's good to feel everyone's energy and be there, yada, yada, but especially with gas prices, but I mean, I'm not, this isn't a complaint, I just, I'm, I don't understand anymore. efficient from their domicile why and we're in a energy crisis right environmental crisis a, a global warming thing global climate change whatever you want to call it and if you work for a green company and they're like hey we're going to meet in the office twice a week Everyone's driving, and there's no encouragement like, hey, let's do our best here for said environment. I don't, I don't know. It's just, whoa, this guy's moving right by a cop, too. It's incredible. Cops working in details, not moving. Um, I I like being able to use my time in the morning to recover from you know, everything that was done yesterday. Which is a lot of training, eating really late. Then now, like I'm feeling it. Let's get up early, earlier than you want to. Let's get up and get to the office. And I'm still late. I hit some traffic. I hit some traffic at home. I hit some traffic on the road. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, boys and girls? I forget what I was watching or listening to over the weekend. I was just talking about betting on yourself. And I mean, what a hard path to take. I mean, I tried for a little bit. For sure. But it was like two things. Number one, I was realizing, oh, this is way more difficult than I remembered it. With way more sacrifice than I was willing to make. But I just felt, because I wasn't really loving what I was doing. It was fun. I enjoy teaching martial arts. But what I didn't really enjoy or feel that passion about is being victim to everyone else's time and willingness. And it just, it wasn't, it's okay. There's, there's other things I'd rather 
be doing. I'm more passionate about other things. That's fair. Uh, but to bet on yourself, I mean, everyone's got to pay their bills. And then you always need an oopsie fund. So, there's got to be a point where you grind it out so that you can then take a lump sum and go, okay, I'm now betting on myself with lump sum. I'm taking that money to allow me to use this time to build something. For me personally, it's been my writing. And I gotta say, I haven't been super good. I've been consistent. But what hasn't been consistent is the amount of energy put into it every night. It gets done. But what does that mean? It's like little blurbs where it could be more, could be at length. I thought that maybe I'd have more time at night, more energy, I don't know. I can understand why people hit these walls and they give up. I don't agree with it. Still think you need to keep doing it even if it's half-assed. No ass is better than, I'm sorry, huh. no ass is terrible. You gotta get that ass, get that ass. Half-ass is better than no ass. I'd rather one cheek than no cheeks. It's pretty cheeky. Goodness. What am I talking about? What am I fucking yammering about? Seven minutes. Bet on yourself. Try to make it. But can't just be those people that get lost in the day-to-day. This is my job. This is my identity. It's not. It is not your identity. Unless you run a business that is your, your goal, your passion. You know, like if you have a mission and you have a business set up to take care of that mission, then that is a little different as a big part of your identity. But if you're just going to, you know, to work, just going to work, then it's, you know, just something you do to allow you to pay your bills, to give you that time. And then some people get wrapped up with too much and get wrapped up with a house and they get wrapped up with kids and all these other obligations and really then there, there's nothing else it's hard and sad I mean trust me I it's cool to have a fucking a bunch of money and you don't have money problems you have other problems problems that you can't really solve with money but at least the money buys you time to not have to crap <laughs> Money buys you time so that you have that time to figure it out. But if you're not using that time to figure it out, then well, you're just going to be a mess with a lot of money. You can't take it with you when you die. But as long as it makes you happy, I don't really care. Oh, all right. All righty. Man, it's September. September 20th. What in the fuck? Time flies. Time flies. I think my mission is to get out of the... Take a trip down to Florida this winter. Maybe that's the mission. All right. I'm grateful for another opportunity to make some money so I can buy myself some time or pay off some bills. And breathe a little bit. All right, everyone love you all. I hope you have a great day. I'm going to continue to put all that positive energy. Everything is an opportunity. Big smile. Even if uh, it's a fake smile, it leaves a residual smile. Alright. Wait. <laughs>
whatever. If I die tomorrow, I won't give a shit. I ain't gonna die tomorrow, though. I'm gonna live tomorrow. I'm gonna live today. Oh, look at this girl and her dogs. She's staring at her phone. She's got, like, a weight vest on. Damn. Getting after it. All right. Kill it today. Kisses. Mwah. Bye.